everybody and welcome to another ASMR video here on the channel. Now in this evening's video, I've got something we haven't done here on the channel before and that is because this is uh, the latest hobby that I have uh, started, I've adopted. Uh, we're going to be doing a little bit of a record collection now. Um, I don't have tons, so we're going to take a bit of a, a slower look at them, but uh, I don't intend on stopping the purchasing of them, so I'll be sure to do updated videos throughout the year if it's something you guys are interested in, but I personally love watching collection videos, whether it be trading cards or Blu-ray CDs, that kind of thing. I, I, I find it super relaxing. And so we're going to take a nice, relaxing look at my vinyl record collection. I have ten for us to go through and have a little bit of a chat about. And there's going to be some dubbing as well, because I don't do enough dubbing in my videos, I don't think. Which is bad because it's a really cool part of ASMR, I think. So, um, what shall I start with? I think I'm gonna start with the um, the albums, and then we'll go into soundtracks. So let's see. So, um, I'll sort of show the first one and sort of talk about why I got into vinyl records, although it's probably not really that interesting a reason. But first up. This is Lot Fuss by The Killers. Now, this is a super, super is not. 
decent pickup because it was an offer on Amazon and I got a couple of Amazon vouchers for my for my birthday. And I have no shame in showing this to you all. What collection is incomplete? With upper gold. I feel like I keep saying I had this on CD. My mum owned this on CD. We used to listen to it all the time in the car. Essentially what I'm trying to build up my collection with is albums that mean something to me or that are like my absolute favourite. Apologies for the stomach grumble. But I don't need to talk too much about this. Everyone likes albums, surely. What's frustrating about this though is and why I would recommend not getting records online is ooh, where is it? Yeah, look, you can see here. Um, really frustratingly getting damaged. That damage just keeps getting worse, so I'm, I'm going to put it in a protective sleeve, I think. But it's really cool. If we, uh, if we take bits out, they come, each, each disc comes in like a lovely sleeve, a lovely sleeve. With photos on both sides, and uh, a little bit of history. so successful and producing the albums and such. So it's a, it's a really cool one to have in the collection and one my <laughs> fiance much prefers having on in the house because our record player is downstairs so often I will um, have something playing while I'm doing the dishes or she's cooking or whatever or I'm cooking. You know, we share the workload in this house. Uh, and she's not the biggest She's not as into movie scores as I am. But, um, yep. Upper gold. Upper gold. Okay. What to do next? Ah, um, I know what I'll do next. Um, I should have put these in order before. There we go. We'll go with this one because this 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 kind of bridges the gap nicely between album and soundtrack because it's a it's a little bit of both i 
apologies if this video is a bit all over the place. Obviously not filmed anything like this. Oh yeah, this is really cool. Open this one up. And it's like Zimmer, the class. 
classics. Um, Hans Zimmer is by far my favourite uh, composer, movie composer ever. He's just absolutely phenomenal. Like on here, so we have The Dark Knight Rises, uh, The Piano Guys, uh, Pirates of the Caribbean theme, sorry, uh, Gladiator Rhapsody, uh, Crimson Tide, Inception Time, which t time is my favourite piece of music ever. Uh, love it. Uh, Lion King, Gladiator, now we are free. Man of Steel Flight, Gladiator Battle Scene, Inception Mombasa, and Interstellar, the docking scene. I'm kind of glad it's only the docking scene uh, on it, but well, you'll see in a second. Uh, but I love Hans Zimmer. I have to say, he's, he's first but a long way, but Ludwig Göransson is... He's catching up a little bit, Tenet, and then Oppenheimer. That's one, like, it's impossible to get in the UK at the minute, the Oppenheimer vinyl. I'm not even sure if it exists yet. If you know where to get it in the UK, let me know, please. Um, be a Ludwig Gonson Tenet, Man uh, The Mandalorian, he's, he's very, very, very good. But he can't be the bit handsome, um. And to finish off the collection, speaking of handsome, um, This is my favourite movie of all time. I know it's a lot of people's favourite movie. Uh, so I'm a basic bitch, I apologise, but this movie is fantastic and a big part of that for me is the score. My favourite score in a movie by some way, by some way. And I'm not sure I'll ever be topped. Like, there's obviously that fact you may be familiar with that Zimmer wrote the score before he'd seen the movie. He was just given three or five words by Nolan. Hence why we have organs for a sci-fi movie. On paper it shouldn't work, but my days does it. <laughs> Obviously Cornfield Chase is the is the the, the, the the track that everyone is like, oh, it's the best piece of music ever, but there, there are so many good bits on it. Like even Dreaming of the Crash. Among the stars, uh, where we're going. I love where you're going. So at the end, and do not go gentle into that good night. Uh, I love the wormhole as well. But, um, I won't open it because I can't really. Uh, sorry, I won't open it because I can't really be bothered. <laughs> Looking on the reverse. favorite 